Hi Darkroom Core users. In this quick video I want to show you how you can use a graphic list to save some time in building your templates and make you just a little bit more efficient when you're choosing your different backgrounds for your green screen images. And this will also work for overlays and those type of things. Let's go ahead and uh, see what I'm talking about. On our uh, screen here I have a green screen image with a background and I'm able to toggle between different backgrounds and they're all inside one template. So let's switch over to our setup tab to see how this was created. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start a new template. We'll call it demo 8x10. The page size is 8x10, orientation is vertical. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now I'm going to click Add Graphic like we normally would, but rather than using single graphic, I'm going to choose graphic list. Click edit. I'm giving it a name. I click add. I'm going to select the different backgrounds I'd like to use and click open. It's important to, to remember that it's a, uh, before I click open, uh, to save these background images to a permanent location. That way, if they're ever moved, uh, they would be lost from Darkroom. So you want to put them where they're going to stay permanently. It's also a good idea to have them all be the same aspect ratio or size. So we're going to go ahead and click Open, OK, and then OK. I'm going to click Fit and Fill, fill entire page. So it takes the full canvas area. Now I'm going to click Add Photo, set it to chroma key just like normal, and save as a new border. We'll click Save. OK. Now when we switch back to our photo workshop, we have our new template that we just created with multiple backgrounds. If for some reason this gets closed, you can always just click on and it will pull it back up and then you're back up and running. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you very much for watching.